First year is, is largely a setup year, uh, a foundation year to make sure everybody's on the same page, has the right background for what's going to come later. And then from second year on, um, students get to uh, choose more and more what they're interested in. Um, we want them to have some breadth so they know all areas, um, but we also want them to get, get some depth and, and be you know, really keenly interested in one or, one or more areas of mathematics. Um, and so we offer that in, in the upper years as well. The first year is fairly standard for students doing math or a related subject. They'll do a, a full year of calculus um, and a, a half to a full year of linear algebra. And so there's a lot of pencil and paper uh, and uh, you know, blackboard, whiteboard work. Um, we have a nice resource room that's just full of students during the year. Uh, it's a nice bright room um, and they're up at the board helping one another. It's, it's, it's really quite a dynamic place. So, I like to think of math as a contact sport. It's not a spectator sport. <laughs> we want them working in groups, talking to one another, talking to us. Um, math, maybe surprisingly to some people, is a very interactive subject. It's a very social uh, subject, uh, more than you might think. Uh, what we find is that, is that students spontaneously form study groups. Um, often that starts out in an online environment um, yeah, using, using um, a software package called uh, WebCT uh, that, that Trent uh, uses in a variety of courses. Um, and they stick in those groups um, outside the web environment and then they get together one-to-one, -to -one, face to face. Um, and um, sometimes those groups, they continue. They start in first year and we see those same students working together in groups of two, three, four, five, all the way through to fourth year. Uh, it's really quite nice to watch. I mean, despite the fact that it's an old discipline, obviously, uh, uh, you know, going back millennia, um, it's also a modern discipline. And, and so it, it's often driven by uh, applications or, or problems uh, in, in the real world. And so uh, a lot of our courses are exactly like that. Good analytical reasoning skills are what you get. So whichever area of mathematics you go into, you're going to come out with good reasoning skills. And that, that's worth a lot uh, in a variety of, of, uh, of career options.